Hey, what up everyone? I'm Senegal, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the spoilers for November 2nd, 2020. We're into November now. It was Halloween yesterday, and it's uh, November today. So, clocks actually went back an hour for me. So, I don't know why I'm actually super late today. I should be early, right? But anyway, I don't know what happened. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake live stream should be after this. So if you're seeing this right now, if you're listening to this when it comes out, I should be live on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So maybe for an hour. <laughs> Hopefully two hours, but maybe an hour. But anyway, in the background we have Arena. Uh, some Arena. I'm trying to get the second set of Ritz, which is very hard to get. And um, yeah, here comes the spoilers for everybody PS4, PC Mobile, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Uh, so let's get into it. Weekly sp event spoilers. PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4. For November 2nd. We had a pretty good live stream yesterday. Uh, Gems of War. Quality once again. Uh, got a lot of the arena done. Had fun. Was there for like three hours. 6 a.m. E EST every Saturday. Gems of War. November 2nd, we have a world event, like always. Um, Dragon's Claw is the kingdom for that world event. Dragonian Sage. So maybe another one of those X-shaped exploders. Uh, like the Dragonian Monk and Dragonian Rogue. Maybe we'll see in a minute, because we'll go over that troop in a second. Uh, faction event Tuesday, November 3rd, for the Warrens. Uh, you can just use your key team for that, I'm pretty sure. Pet Rescue, Wednesday, November 4th, for Whelp, Dragon's Claw's pet. Thursday, class event for Dragon Guard. So this is a big, just a dragon week, all week. Dragon's Claw, dragon, 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 dragon. Invasions on Friday, November 6th, Wild Plains, Cloud Stalker, it says. Maybe, we'll see. It looks like it's going to be a repeat troop. And that's the case a lot of the time, but, um, let me put this controller up here before I move it around too much and it cuts out the mic. So that happens sometimes. If I move around too much. Anyway, so, to recap, Monday, World Event, Dragon's Claw, Dragonian Sage. Tuesday, Faction Assault for the Warrens. Pet Rescue Wednesday for Whelp, Dragon's Claw. Thursday, Class Event, Dragon Guard. And Friday, Invasion, uh, Cloud Stalker, Wild Plains all weekend. So that is for PS4, Xbox, uh, mobile, and PC. Let's go see if there's any new troops. Which we know there's Dragonian Sage. Okay, so Dragonian Sage, Dragon's Claw, Monday, November 2nd. He knows many, many things. Arcane Blood, Base Rarity, Ultra Rare, Troop Type, Dragon Mystic, Troop Roll Support. Um, it's a dragon with a... Uh, robe and hood on and the robe actually has some stones on the on the hood it looks pretty cool way cooler than I thought it would look uh, wisdom of ages I usually like the art in this game that's one thing I never complain about really is the art there might be <laughs> the 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 queen yesterday the whatever her name was the queen the new legendary the art of her spell was kind of weird because uh she's like a gross zombie queen and she's like jumping in the air as a ballerina spreading her legs out. It's like, what the heck? Wisdom of Ages. Give two magic to an ally, and mana equal to half their mana cost if they are a dragon barrier and enchant them. Well, how come it's not doing an X explode? Don't most dragonian troops do an X explode? Anyway, let's read that again, because I never get it the first time. Give two magic to an ally and mana equal to half their mana cost. If they are a dragon, barrier and enchant them. Mana color blue red, mana cost eleven. It's not bad if you're not if you're gonna put it on a dragon team, uh they'll get barrier and enchant, which is two of the best uh, positive status effects. Uh they're getting two magic and half their mana. That's not bad. Maybe cast that on like um cast it on like a world breaker or something, uh I don't know. If there was better dragons in the game, then that would be cool. 
Maybe if it has a half start, too? I don't know. Trait number one, Dragon Bond. Allied dragons gain two life. Trait number two, Fire Heart. Gain one life for each red ally. Trait number three, Spell Armor. Reduce damage from spell blah, 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 by 25%. So no good traits. The, uh, the spell's okay. And the art is good. Okay, Friday, November 6th. Lyanus Empire. Flame of Anu. Oh, it's the new mythic. Cool, I get to put that in the thumbnail for sure. For show. A professional f flatulist. I'll put both of them in there. Because then what if I want to... A professional flatulist. That's funny, right? Doesn't that mean farting? Flame of Anu. Oh, I get it. Because it's anus, right? <laughs> Arcane. Blood and Storm. Base rarity mythic. Troop type divine beast. Troop roll striker. It's a mythic. It is, it looks exactly like the Sacred Guardian from, uh, Dark Souls, uh, uh, remaster. Uh, the DLC. In the Sanctuary Guardian. Pretty much, except for On Fire. So not exactly the same. I'm not gonna say they copied. Well, they kinda did, but they put it on fire at least. Fiery Roar! Deal magic plus four damage to the first two enemies boosted by burning and fairy fired enemies five times. Uh, deal magic plus four damage to the first two enemies boosted by burning and fairy fired enemies. I don't know about that one. We'll see what the traits are. Mana color! Blue, red, yellow. Mana cost 24. Trait number one, Divine Bond. Allied Divines gain two life. Trait number two, Fireproof. Trait number three, Flaming Main. Burn and Fairy Fire a random enemy when matching four or more gems. Huh. It's always like these new mythics. They always have a good third trait, but they are always like ho-hum otherwise. Like what was another one that was like that? Um, It was like a, something with a curse or... It's like King Bloodwood, and then, like, uh, um, somebody else is like a curse on 4 or 5 gem match or something, like, they have something good on their third trait, where it's like a curse and something, or a, 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 a bleed and a entangle, or, um, I think I'm thinking of King Bloodwood, but it's like, man, if their spell was just a little bit better, like, that's a good trait, but that's the only thing they got going for them, is that one good trait. So that's it. We get a cool looking, two cool looking troops. And I don't think either one are going to break the game and make a new meta team. So, Weapon spoilers. We get the mystery egg that I've been looking at for a while, I think. I keep moving the cord. I hope it's not doing the thing. I notice it does that sometimes, even though it's a new, newish mic. It's only a year old. Monday, November 2nd. Dragon's Claw, Mystery Egg, Rarity, Legendary, Weapon Type, Relic, Weapon Roll, Generator. Uh, it's an egg that's blue uh, with symbols written on it, like Japanese kind of symbols, but not exactly. If you've ever seen that wrestler that has Japanese writing all over his body, uh, it looks like that, but on an egg. And it's a blue egg with like white. Blue, yellow is the mana color. Mana cost 14. Create 8. 8 red and yellow gems. Then summon either a dragon egg or a fell dragon egg. Wow, that's kind of poop. I don't ever think I'll want to... Yeah, let's get out the mystery egg. Let's get out the mystery egg, guys. We can summon a dragon egg. Vital, gain 4 life. Armored, gain 4 armor. Flaming, burn the first enemy. Blessed, cause a random positive effect on myself. November 6th, Wild Plains, Horn Cleaver, Rarity Legendary, Weapon Type Axe, Weapon Roll Generator, it's an axe with a little skull in the axe blade. Blue, red, 14 mana cost, Horn Cleaver does Magic plus 7 damage to an enemy boosted by Taurus allies. Then create a mix of 6 green and brown gems for each Taurus ally. Thinking immediately, immediately of uh, Ferocity, and that does not work for it because it doesn't do red. So that's dumb. Mighty. But Ferocity already has a perfect weapon in Rage Reaver, so... 
So it has gain to attack and rage myself. Deal three splash damage to a random enemy and bleed the first enemy. <coughs> Excuse me. Live stream Final Fantasy VII Remake after this. Come watch it. Come say hi. Just come leave a like and then go back to sleep. Leave it on. Don't even... You could turn the volume all the way down to one. Leave it on. Just give us another viewer. Class spoilers? No. Kingdom spoilers? No. Pet spoilers? Do we have any new pets for PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4? No, we do not. We get a compact cookie on November 11th, which is 10 days from now. Um, Kingdom Power. Remember, the new cycle just started, I'm pretty sure. So the Grey King was the only thing that really came through, and um, I think he can even come again, because I think he was the last Mythic that wasn't in the previous cycle. So it's possible that we could even get Grey King again this week. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a thing. Because he was, he didn't go through, like say last cycle was the 17th cycle. He got his 17th turn last week. Everybody else was getting their 18th turn out of the Mythics and the Soul Forge last week. So he still needs to get his 18th turn. So he could possibly show up again this week if you didn't get him last week. Not 100% sure on that, but it's a, a thing that I, I think is true. So Max Kingdom Power, the most exciting thing that you're all looking forward to right now. Dragon's Claw Kingdom Power 15 on November 2nd. The Honest Empire Kingdom Power 20 on the 6th. And that is it. Some people probably actually look forward to that. If they're really high level and that's the only thing they got going on is max kingdom power. That'd be sad. Um, let's see. We gotta do a uh, Nintendo Switch now. So, it was a world event. And then a faction assault for the Warrens. And then a whelp pet. On Wednesday, it's a, oh, just a Dragon's Claw week, so then Dragon Guard on Thursday, class event, then Invasions, Cloud Stalker on Friday. We get a new Mythic, though, on Friday, so save your keys up if you want to get the new Mythic. Uh, it's not a good one, but it, it's a Mythic. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. New Mythic is pretty much the best thing happening for PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4. So let's move on to Nintendo Switch. Kind of actually a, a refreshing, uh, not very busy week. Um, other, If you get the world event done Monday, Tuesday, then you just have a normal week the rest of the week. So, For once, we don't have a super busy, be super busy week next week. Okay, Nintendo Switch has on November 2nd, Monday, Raid Boss. You have Raids, Cinema Mirage, and Envoy of Pride. Tuesday, Faction Assault for City of Thieves, the best faction in the game to uh, farm, so you might not want to take it past level 20 or 30. Pet Rescue for Beals, Cinema Mirage. I don't even know what that looks like. We'll see in a second. Then you have Nothing Thursday, which is weird to me. And then a class event Friday for Barbarian. Might be a new class for you. I don't know. It must be because it's on the weekend. So, raids all week. Cinema Mirage, Envoy of Pride. City of Thieves on Tuesday, which is kind of weird because I wouldn't want to level that one up. I wouldn't recommend that you do, but you can. There's other places you could use. Um, and then you have Beal's Pet on Wednesday, Cinema Mirage. And then Friday, you have Barbarian Class, which I think is a new class for you, which is not a good class, by the way. Troop spoilers for Nintendo Switch. You get Broker of Greed. So yeah, you're getting a new faction as well, right? Cinem or a new kingdom? What is this? No, never mind. Forget what I said anything. Hold on. Okay, new troops for Nintendo Switch. Let's start over. Monday, November 2nd. Cinema Mirage, Broker of Greed. It's not greed, it's enlightened self-interest. Arcane Storm, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Daemon Rogue, Troop Roll Support. 
He looks like a broker that's a devil. Greed is good. Give five to a random skill on another ally boosted by my gold. Lose all my gold. Explode three yellow gems one to one. Mana color red, yellow. Mana cost 13. Trait number one, greedy. Trait number two, omen of stone. Explode a brown gem at the start of battle. Trait number three, merchant. Gain 25% bonus gold from battle. You would think you could fit them into a gold farming team or something, but it never really happens. Envoy of Pride on November 2nd. Cinna Mirage. He cometh before the fall. Arcane Plains. Base Rarity Epic. Troop Type Daemon. Troop Roll Striker. It's a bo uh, envoy. A bird with wings, obviously, and a little staffy poo. Display of ser Superiority. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy. If they are a boss, deal three times five times damage based on my ascensions. If the enemy dies, steal four magic from all remaining enemies. Mana color yellow, purple, mana cost 12. So that's the raid, uh, raid troop. It's not a bad one, because it actually does something. It deals the magic to, the, it deals the damage to, uh, Zul'goth. It kills it, hopefully one-shots it if you have it fully ascended. And fully traded. And, um, then it actually steals four magic from all remaining enemies, which is not bad. Something good for once. Trait number one, Omen of Death. Explode a skull at the start of battle. Trait number two, Accursed. All enemies lose two random skill points. And trait number three, God Slayer. Deal five times. Three times, five times. I always think of Booker T whenever I say that. Deal three times, five times. Skull damage versus bosses based on my ascension. And you get Umanath. So a new mythic for you. Umanath. Everybody's getting new mythics this week. Um, Pride lands. She gets very nasty, very fasty. Arcane beast and lava. Base rarity mythic. Troop type divine Rashka. Raksha. Troop roll assassin. It's a Raksha. Female. Hunting prowess. Deal. Magic plus three. Damage to an enemy. Boosted by all their skills. If the enemy dies, gain ten attack and create twelve skulls. This is like a budget... Zulgoth, if I remember correctly, but not a lot of people use it, but it can be a budget Zulgoth, so it's not completely useless, but it, it it seemed like it had more potential when we first got it, and then it kind of fell off after that, and I don't see very many people using it, but I think if you really, really want to, you can use it as a type of a Zulgoth replacement in some sort of teams. Mana color green, red, brown. Mana cost 25. Trait number one, Eagle Eye. Place Hunter's Mark on enemies when doing skull damage. Trait number two, Agile. 20% chance to dodge skull damage. Trait number three, Huntress. Gain four attack when matching four or more gems. So I guess uh, I could say your mythic is probably slightly better than our mythic this week, but not by a lot. And I don't know because I haven't used mine yet, So, but it seems like it. But not one you would, like, craft in the Soul Forge or anything. Weapon spoilers for Switch. Sickle of Sin, November 2nd. Sin of Mirage. Rarity Legendary. Weapon type Dagger. Does not look like a dagger. Weapon Roll Generator. It looks like a... Uh, what you might call it? A sickle. It's a Sickle of Sin. Blue Green. 14 mana cost. Deal magic plus 7 damage to an enemy, boosted by Cinema Mirage allies. Then create a mix of 6 red and purple gems for each Cinema Mirage ally. Gain 1 magic. Disease the first enemy. Deal 5 damage to the last enemy. And bleed the first enemy. Not anything we use. November 6th, you get the uh, Barbarian Class Weapon Reward. Get 250 victories with Barbarian. Don't be using orbs on that. You can get it for free just by equipping the class. That's like the most wasteful thing you can do in the game is get a class weapon with an orb. Groshnok or King's Club. Rarity Mythic, Weapon Type Mace, Weapon Roll Striker, Barbarian Class Weapon Reward. It's a big old axe that a Barbarian would use. Red... Mana cost 14. Orc King's Club. Deal magic plus 4 heavy splash damage to an enemy boosted by skulls, then stun all affected troops. 
Not the best, but not the worst. It's right in the middle for the class weapons, I would say. Gain four life. Gain two attack. Deal three splash damage to a random enemy. Enrage myself. And bleed the first enemy. That's all your new weapons on Switch. So class spoilers is going to say Barbarian, right? Yep, Barbarian. So Friday, November 6th, you're getting the Barbarian class. It's from Groshnok. Troop type is Orc. Bonus is Brown. Um, gets the Orc King's Club, like I just said. Talents. Uh, it has the War Talents. Forest. And Storms. So there is a Leaf Storm. Um, what else? Let's see if I can find anything good. A leaf Storm. Entangle. Um. I don't not not much else. Yeah. Pretty much just a leaf storm. Dust storm, there's a dust storm. Lightning strike, so that's it. You can either have a leaf storm or a dust storm, and then there's a lightning strike. Uh, but that's it. Trait number one, Orc Fury. Gain three attack when I take damage. Trait number two, Agile. 20% chance to dodge skull damage. Trait number three, Barbaric Fury. Gain three attack when matching red gems. And you guys will get Monk on December 11th. It's quite a ways away. About five weeks. Probably even longer, right? Yeah. More than five weeks away. Just fine, right? Um, Kingdom spoilers for Switch. Uh, what the heck? Uh, yeah. You get Lazara's Lair on November 20th. Pet spoilers for Switch. You got Beals today, uh, November 4th. Beals. It's a little black, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Character. <laughs> Wednesday, November 4th. Send a Mirage. Beals. Little, little shadowy character with white eyes and white teeth. Little blob with arms and legs. Pet color purple, Kingdom Team bonus, and Kingdom is Sin, Sin of Mirage. Uh, and the last thing is weekly events, or no, uh, Max Kingdom Power for Switch. Last thing. Um, Switch is getting some stuff this week, right? Um,. November 6th, uh, Pride Lands Kingdom Power to 15, and Groshnok Kingdom Power to 14, and then November 9th, is that too far away? Yeah, too far away, never mind. So that is everything, so I would say uh, the most important things of the week, if you stay this long for the video and you want to know, what's the, what does Cinny think the most important things of the week are? Well, number one, Final Fantasy VII Remake's probably on right now, so you should go watch that. Hit like and uh, leave it on and go back to sleep or go do chores or go do your day. Just leave it on, you know, or say hi or stay or chat or whatever. Uh, we're almost done with the game. We're pretty far in. Nanaki, Red 13's there. Sephiroth's there. There's summons. Fat Chocobo. Uh, but yeah, what's the most important thing for each for the week? Uh, four, PS4, Xbox, Mobile... PC, I would say there's a new mythic coming in, and that's the most important thing. And a light week for once, and not super crowded three things a day every day. It's just world event campaign, then one event a day after that, which is nice. And on Nintendo Switch, I would say they're getting a new mythic also, Umanath, and a new class, Barbarian class. Um, and that is... Uh, also, City of Thieves, right? Is that a new a new one for you? If not, no, it's not new. But, okay, so for Nintendo Switch, start over. Umanath, New Mythic, and Barbarian, New Class is what you guys are getting. So, that's good. Anyway, hopefully you guys did good on the vault. Today is Sunday. I think there's a vault event for Nintendo Switch right now. So, make sure you grind that out. And then for uh, 
PS4, and I always say PS4 first because I'm on PS4, but PS4, Xbox One, PC Mobile. Um, we got the arena, so go get those Ritz. Don't be too lazy, but I understand. I know the arena is crappy, and it takes forever, and even I am having trouble getting the second round of Ritz, but come watch Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Tell your guild about the channel. Tell them to subscribe. Comment below. It helps a lot. Leave a like. It helps a lot. Tell other people. It helps a lot. Consider joining. It helps a lot. It's $1.99. Makes it's way more than the pennies I get off the ads. And uh, yeah, it helps a lot. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.